The 4-H program and Pike County Homemakers Association will be hosting an after-school program called the Appalachian Culture Club for ages 9 through 18. The goal of the club is to teach younger generations about the practices found in Appalachia and their historical significance. Participants can expect several different activities such as hand sewing, old-fashioned candy making, and corn husk doll making. So this is a brand new club with 4-H. It's an after-school club. Um, so I got the idea during the summer and the, the first thing that came to my mind was um, Appalachian Studies and I wanted to do something similar to Appalachian Studies. And so I took that idea to the local homemakers, so the Pike County homemakers, and we had a meeting and I asked um, what could you guys do um, in terms of Appalachian Studies, um, what kind of things could we teach. Um, and they had tons and tons and tons of ideas to um, keep Appalachian culture alive. Each of these um, classes will have a little history lesson to why people in Appalachia did chicken scratch, why we made corn husk dolls, um, why we made this particular type of candy. Um, and yes, spark that interest in the youth, um, get them interested, pass along those ways, and then whenever they're older, they can pass it along to their children as well. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Educators at the Extension Office are hoping to instill a new sense of appreciation for Appalachian heritage through teaching these classes. Signups are available by contacting the Extension Office at 606-432-2534. I know a lot of times um, young people in the area look to leave the area. They don't want to stay. They want to um, leave the region and maybe um, go somewhere else. And hopefully this would give them an appreciation for where we are, which is very special. Um, it's very unique to the country um, and make them appreciate where they're from and their heritage. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.